Hey everybody, what's up? Stingray here again, and we are back in my sandbox game. This is devlog episode 3, and as you can tell from the title of this video, I have implemented a 3D chunk system. So first of all, very quickly, you will notice that the world is no longer a grey wasteland as it was in the last episode. The reason for that is not that I implemented texture stitching, because I didn't yet. Um, the reason is that I simply replaced the debug texture with this well, kind of temporary grass texture, just so that things look a bit nicer. Um, but in the end, it's still the same system. Every block still has the same texture because, you know, multiple textures is still a thing that I need to support. <laughs> uh, but what I really want to talk about is, of course, that 3D chunk system. So you can see we have this bit uh, of an area here. And you can see we have these three buttons up here. And if I click on this button here, you can see it loads in a bunch of chunks over here. And if I click on this button again, you can see it unloads these chunks again. And if I do this in both directions, you can see it can load in that direction, it can load in that direction. But you will notice that we have this cutoff mountain here. And this is really just to show off the three-dimensionality of this chunk system. So if I click on the button for the Y direction, there is of course the vertical, you can see that it loads in the rest of that mountain. So yeah, that's this chunk system. Again, we can of course unload all of it and be back with this. One thing to note is that world saving and all that kind of stuff is not yet implemented. So every time that I load these chunks, they get regenerated. Uh, so if I, if I build just build a pillar here, for example. We now have this pillar, and if I now retract this and expand again, you can see the pillar is gone. That is because all of this is now newly generated terrain. Uh, this is obviously not an infinite world yet, and uh, the, there are two reasons for that. One is that this terrain generator is actually very limited uh, in, in terms of size, because I'm manually telling the game to generate this area. It's not like I load a chunk and it automatically generates. That's one thing that's missing. So chunk-based generation in general is not done yet. And chunk loading and unloading is not dynamic yet. I can do it manually with these buttons up there. But, you know, other than that, once a chunk is loaded, it never gets unloaded again. So technically we do have an infinite world. I can build out here to the side. And I can build out infinitely, or until the game breaks, I guess. But the thing is that whenever I do this, this loads new chunks. And these chunks never get unloaded. <laughs> so yeah, you can imagine having an infinite world in, with that system would not really work. So those are two things that are missing for infinite worlds. Chunk-based terrain generation that actually generates terrain when the chunk gets loaded. and you know, dynamic chunk loading and unloading around the player. Those are two things missing for infinite worlds, but other than that, uh, you know, the chunk system is working and it is truly three-dimensional. I can go in any direction infinitely. I can go down as well, by the way, right? So I can go down as well. And that means we can have seriously deep worlds, you know, like Terraria deep or something, or even deeper if you really wanted to. Technically, the world could be infinitely deep, but um, in practice, for a survival world, it, it just won't generate infinitely because that would kind of be boring at some point. Um, you know, there will be some certain different layers in the underground to explore. And obviously, there will be some sort of bottom, bottom layer, uh, whatever you want to call it. But um, we do have the ability to have infinitely deep worlds as well, theoretically at least, which is really, really cool. And it also means you don't have a build height limit, so you can build 5,000 block tall skyscrapers if you want to. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's this. Uh, Infinite Worlds is not the topic of the next episode. The topic of the next episode will be that texture stitching that I mentioned in the beginning of the video, because, you know, that's the next thing to do to actually have support for multiple textures again, so that not everything is a green grass block, right? Um, so that's the next thing. It will be pretty interesting, but also I think maybe kind of tricky to do. I don't know how tricky or not that is in Unity, but I will find out. <laughs> so with that said, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you did, a thumbs up would be very much appreciated. Other than that, don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe, and See you next time. Goodbye.